TV KPM. Hello everyone, you are now watching Road to Success SPM 2021 together with me, Sean Steven, as your host. Now before we begin, I just want to uh, remind you of the SOPs in our fight to flatten the curve, the battle against COVID-19, such as to wash your hands often wear or use hand sanitizer, wear your mask when you're outside from your home, and also be sure to keep at least one meter distance apart when you're among other people. Now, for today, we have a very interesting subject. Of course, the subject is English, but before we introduce our teacher that's going to join us, how about we look at her profile? And right now with us, we have teacher Noor Eileen. Hi teacher, thanks Hi. for joining us. Yeah, okay. Now before we begin, how about we practice some SOPs over yes. at the table here. Okay. So let's do that over on this side. So first up, you can use the hand sanitizer. Okay. I will do the same. Okay. All right. And for those of you watching home, always make sure to keep, uh, uh, to keep clean at all times. If you cannot wash your hands often, be sure to use your hand sanitizers. And right now, since we are in a safe distance of at least one meter, I think this is about 1.5 yeah. meters, mm -hmm. now we can open our face mask or take off our face mask. Okay, and be sure to keep it at a safe place. For example, the teacher and I have special, um, how to say, special sleeves or special compartments to keep our face mask. So be sure to not leave it on the on the table or on the floor or on your head or you know below your chin. You do not want to do that. Be sure to keep it at a safe place. Okay, okay. Now that you can see all our wonderful faces, uh, Teacher Eileen, could you introduce yourself once again? Okay, thank you, Sean. Okay, I am uh, Madam Eileen. Okay, uh, so I am an English teacher. Okay, I have been teaching since uh, 1993, so meaning that I is 28 years. 28 years of teaching. Yes. But you look so young. What is your secret? Huh? What the? Just keep smiling. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. I also okay. I also saw your tagline. Uh, something to do with don't complicate things or keep uh, it simple, don't complicate it. Uh, life is simple, yes. so don't complicate it. So that's why you can be so young. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I think, I think it's, it's similar to the uh, English subject that we're going to learn today. So yes. as long as we keep it simple and don't complicate it, everything can be fine. Yeah, yes? correct. So that uh, our kids will love English too. Yes, ah, that's yes. right. So I think, uh, what do you think about the, or maybe you can tell us more about what we are actually going to, focus on today okay today we are going to focus on uh, unit 2 yeah. of our form 4 mm -hmm. so uh, form 4 textbook which is the full blast okay, okay. Uh, because we know that our kids uh, last year they don't really study much okay. okay because of the pandemic so now we are going to do a revision with all of them all okay. right uh, okay but well, is this subject uh, difficult in general no English is not difficult English is easy in fact if you know how to go about it. Yeah, ah. okay. So let's have a look of a video on the uh, candidates for SPM 2021 about the subject itself. Yes. Let's take a look. Okay. TV, KPM. I personally think English is a good language that people must learn because it helps in communicate with others, especially when we are having the conversation. At the same time, people are able to gain knowledge, whether it is about the culture, society, or others. Because English is a major language in the world, and I am sure this would give a lot of benefits in our career and especially our future. I love English because it is a widely used language for communicating and socializing, knowing. English will enable me to get a good job with multinational company in future. I love English so much and I like to talk to my friend in English. Hopefully, my English will improve. I like to learn English because it is a very interesting language. If I am good in English, I feel more confident and excellent. 
I can go global and meet new friends from other countries through the social media. It is really make me feel great. So don't stop learning. Dide TV KPM. There you have it, uh, benefits of learning English itself. Not only will you feel more confident, but also when you meet uh, other people from other countries, well, English is one of the most widely spoken yeah. languages in uh, in the world. So that yes. will actually help bridge the gap in terms of communication. Yes. Okay, yeah. but uh, for today, it's not only the both of us. We ah. also have uh, special guests who are online with us right now on yeah. Google Meet. Let's have a look on who, oh, at who they are. <laughs> Hi! Hi! Okay, yeah. actually there's some of them who turned off their camera, maybe you can uh, turn them on as well. And uh, what I'll be doing is I'll be mentioning your name, so uh, please do uh, introduce yourself by mentioning your full name as well as which school you are from. Let's start off first with uh, Noor Faiza. Hi Noor Faiza, can you hear me? Hello. Hi, uh, yes, turn on your mic and introduce yourself. Okay, never mind. I think uh, she can't really hear. We're going to move on to the next student. We have Aida Tio. Hi, Aida. Hi. Uh, I'm Aida from SMK Unko Aziz. Thank you so much, Aida. And uh, next we have Adrian Leong. Hi, I'm, I'm Adrian Leung. I'm from SMK Ongajis. Thank you very much. Uh, we're going to go back to Noor Faiza. Hi, I'm Noor Faiza Naifa from SMK Ongajis. Thank you very much. Uh, next, we have... Let's see, I can't really see the name. Okay, Izatul. Hi, my name is Izatul Mwada. I'm from Samoa Madia, Pekan Sabah. Yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, next, we have Yin Zuan. Yin Zuan. Hi, I'm Yin Shen from SMK Unko Aziz. Hi. Thank you. And uh, last but not least, we have Nur Diana. Hi, my name is Nur Diana from SMK Unko Aziz. Thank you very much. And of course, a very, very important, I have to ask each and every one of you, are you ready for our lesson for today? Give me a thumbs up if you are. Okay, okay, some of them are kind of ready. You can see them like reluctantly putting their hands up. <laughs> but to give them some time, how about we take a short break and, we'll be, and we will be back with you for Road to Success SPM 2021. Don't go anywhere. d TV, KPM. d TV, KPM. You are now watching Road to Success SPM 2021 for the subject English together with me, Sean Steven, as well as Madam Eileen. Okay, before we begin again, I want to uh, remind you to always follow the SOPs in place so that we can flatten the curve in our battle against COVID-19. So we have also our students online and Madam Eileen, over to you. Okay, thank you, Sean. Thank you. Okay, hi kids. How are you today? Okay, are we ready? Thumbs up if you are ready. Come on, thumbs up. Okay, good. Okay, okay. Now, so today we are going over to uh, Unit Two. Okay, from your uh, Form Four Full Blast. Okay, uh, textbook. Okay, which is ready for everything. Okay, ready for everything. And the theme for today is people and culture. So we All are right. going to talk on uh, ready for everything, people and culture. So our main skill for today is reading and the complementary skill is speaking. So uh, we are expecting the kids to read and talk. Okay. okay. It's a good thing they are doing the reading and not me. Uh, yeah. uh, you want to try, Sean? Uh, it's okay. We can, we can have, let them have their fun. Okay. So the objective for today is, okay, the learning objective for today is for the main reading skill is by the end of the lesson, people will be able to show understanding of the main points in the things people will do text by stating what all the people mentioned in the text have in common. And then the complementary skill speaking, which is speaking, by the end of the lesson, okay, uh, pupils will be, 
be able to explain and justify orally their own point of view uh, in the two question posed in the discussion. Okay, so these are the two learning objective that uh, we are going to cover for today. All right. Okay, so uh, we are going to start off with this word, charity. Okay, the word charity. Now, I'm going to ask the pupils online, okay, the word charity. What do you understand from the word charity? Uh, what do you understand from the word charity? Uh, oh, Sean, do you want to try? Okay, that's a, <laughs> that's a very interesting uh, word, but how about we give a chance to our students? Let's see who, who else who? can try. Yeah, who yeah, can actually who want help to? Okay. me? Please uh, help those, me. Uh, Aida, okay. Uh, okay, yes. Anybody want to help Sean? Yes, Aida, please continue. Yes. Turn on your mic. Okay. And help yes, me. Yes, Aida. <laughs> um, I think charity is help people in need, uh, mostly in the form of money. Okay, in the form of money, okay, you are okay. correct also. Yeah. And uh, help people in need in the form of money. Okay, thank you, Aida. Okay, how about the others? How, what do you know about the word charity? Uh. Anyone else would like to try? You can just raise. Okay, Izatul. Yeah, okay, come on, Izatul. Um, charity is an organization that collects money to help people who are sick or poor. Okay, charity is an organization. Yes, charity can be an organization who help those in need. Yeah. Okay. Uh, thank you, Izatul. Okay. Uh, why why not we go and get for another one answer? Uh, yes. One. Yes. Come on. Uh, who would like to try? Um, uh, who would like to try? Anybody? You can uh, put up your hand. Adrian, how about you? Would you like to try? All right. Um, charity is an, an activity to raise the fund. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. To uh, activity to raise the fund. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Adrian. I actually okay. see a lot. A lot of the uh, pupils that's online have mentioned, or they are going towards. Um, uh, collection of funds yes. or, or money, but I, yeah. I think that charity can also be both monetary as well as non-monetary. Yeah, in charity can be monetary and also non-monetary, where yeah. we can give to people uh, those who are in need. Yeah. Okay, in terms of clothing, uh, apart from money like clothing, yeah. food. food yes. Okay, uh, uh, even and, shelter. I think. Uh, yeah, uh, shelter also is a, a form of charity. Also, yeah. so there are many ways and many things that we can do in order to offer our charity to those who are in need. Yes. So that is what we are focusing about on today's lesson, which is charity. Okay, so uh, we are going to go to the next slide, okay? All right. Uh, which is, okay, I know you cannot look at the wording here, yeah. I know, but, <laughs> but all of you, you have the, word, uh, the text with you, right? You have the books with you, okay, on the things people will do. Okay, yeah. So this is so, actually taken from a textbook, Yeah, right? the full blast. Full this blast. is unit two. Okay. Okay, full blast for the form four. Okay? okay. Now, what I want you to focus on is the picture. Okay, the picture here. Okay. What can you see in this picture? I'm not talking about the wording. I'm talking about the picture. Okay, mm. what can you see in the picture? Ah, this picture. What is this person doing? Okay, what is this person doing? Okay, you can think about the answer first. I'll give you one minute to think. Okay, what is this pe person doing? And what are the people down here doing? Okay, and then why is this person doing this? Okay, so your focus is on the picture. Okay, not the wording. Okay. So, are you ready to give me whatever you can see on the, pic uh, on the picture, sir? Okay, anybody? You can raise your hand if you are ready. Okay, okay yes. Nordiana. Okay, Nordiana. Come on, Nordiana. Okay, what I can see from the picture is a firefighter doing a dangerous activities to gain people's attention. Okay, a firefighter doing dangerous activity to gain people's attention. Okay, yes. good answer. Is that correct? Is that correct? Uh, no, no, we, we, we listen to the others, was it? Okay. Okay, yes. Anybody apart from Diana? Yes, anybody? 
How what about... Is this? Um, How about... Yeah. Yeah, anyone else would like to try? How about Nur Faiza? Would you like to try? Yeah, Nur Faiza. Yeah. Okay. Based on the picture, what I could see is a, fight, a firefighter who is locked in a glass box. Um, okay. Because he's, he's doing a challenge for attract the attention and getting the fund to help charity. Oh, okay. Oh. Wow, she is connecting the picture with the word charity just now. Yeah, very good. smart. Uh, mm. Very smart, Faiza. <laughs> okay, so this person is in a glass box doing something, yep. okay, to attract the attention in uh, for the reason of charity. Okay, thank you, Faiza. That is what I want to ah, get yes. <laughs> to just now, okay? Yes, so right. this person is in fact uh, doing something. We don't know whether it's a firefighter or is it normal people, okay? So, he's doing something. This man is doing something inside the box, okay? Watched by the people down here in order to get attention and in order to find fun, okay? Oh. Or to, to raise fun for charity. Okay. That is what. We have the crane here, see? You can yep. see the crane. And then the person inside here. Yeah. So that's why in the book it says here in the, the, the bubble here, this act should not be attempted by students under any circumstances. Yes, just for illustration purposes. Yes, huh? illustration yeah. purposes. So meaning here, this person is doing something in order to collect money for charity. I see. Ah, okay, so okay. the things people will do for charity. Uh -huh. ah, okay. okay, now putting that into context. Now I understand. Okay. You understand now, Yes, Sean? yes. Ah, okay, <laughs> so the things people will do for charity. So one of them is this. Okay. Okay. Uh, so now, uh, how, uh, so the your text is with you, right? Okay, is it thumbs up if the text is for you? So now what I want you to do is, okay, the next thing, okay. You are asked to read the text, okay, but I don't want you to really read into the text. I want you to skim the text, okay? okay? Skimming and scanning, okay? Skimming means, okay, you look at the text, you look at the first sentence of the paragraph and also the last sentence of the paragraph in order to get the idea of what the paragraph, uh, the, the text is all about. That is scheming. That is the technique. Oh. Uh, yeah, one of the reading skills. Oh, no, scheming I didn't know Scheming for about main this. idea. Ah, uh, now, I think because I, I personally take a very long time to read okay. stuff. Uh, so, <laughs> that's a really good tip. I okay, you just scheme. So, what do, okay, we know that in the text itself, there are several peoples in yeah. the text. Okay, several people in the text. So, I want you to scheme through the text. What do all the people mentioned in the text have in common? Oh. So what is the common, uh, the, what is common among the people in the text? Okay. So you just skim through. You don't have to read the text first. Just skim through the text. Okay. So you answer this question. What do all the people mentioned in the text have in common? Okay. Okay. We we'll look for it. So uh, how about thirty seconds? Just okay. skim through. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ah, skim through the text. Okay. What do all the people mentioned in the text have in common? Okay. How many answers are we are we are we trying to find out here? It's only one. Only one. Okay. <laughs> uh, only one. So that only should be pretty one. fast. Thirty what seconds. I think is too long in, for them. Uh, too long. Is it? Is it fifty <laughs> seconds? So are you ready for the answers? Anybody ready? Raise up your hand. Okay, anybody ready? Raise up your hand. Oh, Justin I think is smiling. Just a bit, a bit I know, nervous. Adrian they're giving is smiling. us a nervous smile. Like, please don't choose me. <laughs> <laughs> but Adrian is smiling. <laughs> okay, oh, I think we have uh, Ida who just raised her hand. Uh, yeah, Ida. Okay, thank you. Yes, Ida? Um, they are raising money for charity. Wow, raising money for charity. Very good, Ida. Okay. Is that correct? Yeah, that okay, is correct. that's correct. Yeah, because I didn't have the text with me, so yeah. Okay, thank you, Aida. Uh, all of the uh, all of the people in the text is raising money for charity. That is what they have in common. Okay. Uh, common. Okay, so that is what they have in common. Yeah. So now, just now, you are skimming through the text, right? You just skim, but you re didn't really read into uh, read uh, thoroughly the text. So now, for the next activity or the next exercise 
Okay? I want you to read the text. Now we read. Just now you skim. Okay. Uh, meaning look, looking for the man idea. We skim. Yeah. Now you read the text thoroughly and I want you to complete the table below. Okay? So when we have these four columns here, meaning we have four names there. Okay? So can you complete this? Do or do I have to repeat myself? Do you know? Do you understand the question or the rubric here? Read the text again and complete the table below. Okay. Uh, so here, meaning we have four columns, meaning that we have uh, we have four names. Okay? okay. We have four names there. Okay. So uh, how how long should we give them? Sean? I think this we can give them about thirty seconds. Yeah. Uh, give, give them, them thirty, 30 seconds. seconds. Oh, okay. Unless if they are ready, they can already raise their okay. hands. Uh, uh, even for those of you watching at home, if you have the textbook at home, it says yeah. Form 4, Chapter form 2. Form 4, Chapter 2, page 23. Yes. 22, 23 in your textbook. Yeah, you can uh. quickly read through the text, uh -huh. fill in the table that is shown uh -huh. earlier, and yes. uh, you can compare your answers to what uh, Madam uh, Eileen is going to show us or going to tell us compared uh -huh. to your answer and see whether you yeah. get it correct. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so if you have the textbook, you can read through. Okay, uh, just now we skim, now we read. Five, four, so three, so fast, two, huh? one. Ding, ding, ding. I don't know. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> <laughs> Time's up. Put your Time's pants up. down. Okay, put your pants down. According okay. to Sean, <laughs> uh, our invigilator for today. Yeah, just, just for today. Okay. <laughs> okay, so anybody ready with the first name? Anybody ready? You can raise your hand. Uh, raise you your can hand. Okay. Yes. Diana. Okay, Diana. David Hyde. Who is it? David Hyde. Okay, David. Okay, yes. Okay. David. So now it's just the names, correct? The name, yes. The name. Okay. Uh, when is it? Wait. Uh, this one, the second column? Or have you completed all? Uh, or only the name? Uh, only the name. <laughs> okay. Only the name. Only okay. The name. <laughs> so you have all the four names here, is it? Yes. You, okay, so the first one is David? Hein. Hein. Okay, next, second one? K. Matthews. K. Matthews. The third one? Nick Lee So. I don't know how to read it. <laughs> I don't know. Nick. <laughs> Nick. Okay. Nick Lesoff. Okay. okay. Nick Lesoff. Okay, Max. Lesoff. Mm -mm. Alison Bishop. Where is it? Alison Bishop. Okay, Alison Bishop. So we have four names, okay? Okay, thank you, Diana. We have four names. Then we ask the other to complete who, uh, the full column, uh, the full row here. So what is... Uh, what's the first name just now? David. I David. Think. Okay, what is David doing? Ah, okay, anybody? David. The first name is David. Okay, the first name is David. Okay, put down David. Can we write here? David, yes. Ah, Oops. Oh, it's bigger. Cannot. What is it? What happened? I don't okay, think they hold on. Never mind, never mind. Okay, <laughs> never okay. mind. Okay, the first yeah. name is I David. Think, I think the, the, the people at home will know that that's David. This is just a short form. <laughs> okay, short form. okay. So, so, David. Okay, anybody can complete this row for David. Okay, David. Yes, who is it? Okay, uh, Ida, Ida again. Okay, Ida. Yes, Ida. Okay. Um, when? David Han. Okay. In 2010. 2010. Uh, where? Uh, at Central London. Okay. Central London. Central London. Yes, good. For which charity? The Firefighters Charity and Cancer Research UK. Yes, okay. okay. Firefighter and can Cancer Research. Okay, the money raised by David? £5,000. Oh, £5,000. And what David did? Okay, what did he do? Uh, yeah. He spent he spent forty eight hours without any food, locked in a glass box which was hanging thirty feet in the air from a crane above central London. Yes, wow. that is the picture of David just I now. Okay, the okay. illustration on the text itself just now is yeah. what David is doing or I what see. David did. Okay. Okay. Uh, he was in the box mm -hmm. without the food. For? 48 hours. 48 hours, okay, in central London in order to raise funds for the firefighter 
and cancer research okay 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 in uk All okay right. how about the second person okay that is k andrews yeah k andrews ah, okay k. i should write I this down ah, k. Okay. K. okay the second person okay maybe Anyone? we can give uh, okay yes okay. Izatul is, Izatul is ready yeah. okay yes k when um, 2009. 2009. Okay, good. 2009. Um, in Norfolk, UK. Norfolk, uh, Norfolk, UK. Yes. Uh, for which charity? A war victims charity. A war victim charity. Uh -huh, okay. Uh, okay. How much did this person raise? K raise. Three thousand pound. Three thousand pound. And what did K do? Um, skydive from a plane 30,000 30, feet above the ground. Okay, skydiving. Wow. Okay, thank you, Izatul. Okay, skydiving. Very 30 scary feet. period. Uh, uh, yeah. Very would, scary Will you do activity. that, Sean? Uh, I'm actually afraid of heights. Okay. But if I had the opportunity, I would just yeah. because it's in my bucket list. Okay. Just something to try, la, something to try. Something to try. Something to try. Next Even though I'll be screaming, la, Mommy! Mommy. <laughs> but I will still try. La. Okay, so we have the third person just now. Okay, the third person. Uh, why is it just now? Okay, the third person. Okay, we got uh, Yin. Okay, Yin, Yin Zuan. Okay, yes, Yin Zuan. Um, it is in two thousand and ten. Two thousand ten. And in Melbourne. Melbourne, Australia. Australia. Yes, which charity is it? It is for a children's charity. Children's charity. Money raised. Uh, fifteen thousand dollars. Fifteen thousand dollars, and then what did the person do? Uh, he decided. Uh, he spent three weeks living in a shop windows with four hundred deadly spiders. Wow, weeding. Okay, thank you, Yin Zuan. Okay, wow. that's a good answer. Okay. okay, spending time with the deadly. Spiders. spiders. How, how many? 4,000 4, 4, spiders? <laughs> yeah, yeah. One spider, I'm already afraid, but this yeah. is more than one. Okay, in spending time with the And the last one, come on. We have the last one. Adrian. Yes, yes Adrian. Okay. Um, the time is 2011. 2011, yes. Uh, where? Uh, in Peterborough, UK. Okay, in UK also, Peterborough. Okay, which charity is that? National Deaf Children's Association. National uh, Deaf Association, okay. The money yeah. raised? 874 pounds. 874 pounds. Uh, what did the person do? Okay, what did the person do? Um, the person spent a whole school days without saying a word. Oh, not wow. saying a word. Okay, thank you, Adrian. That's the answer You're that welcome. we want. Okay, meaning that the whole day being in school without saying a word, no talking. Wow, wonderful. Talk. I don't uh, think so I can live a day without... Can, can oh, you even live uh, a day Not even an hour. An, not an hour. <laughs> okay, okay. So, okay, let's recap the answer. Okay, so this is the answer. Okay, Wonderful. we have David Hunt. Okay, here he spent 48 hours without any food locked in a glass box. Yes. Just now, hanging 30 feet from the A. Okay. Okay. K. Matthew skydive from a plane 30, 13,000 feet above. Uh, Nick three, uh, spending three weeks with spider. Yeah. Okay, and lastly, Alicia Bishop. Uh, Silent for one 24 hours. Wow. wow. Okay. So hopefully for those of you who tried this activity at home, just can check your answers and yeah. compare them to the table that we just showed to you. Hopefully you got it all correct. But before we move on further, how about we take a short break and we'll be back to you with Road to Success SPM 2021. Don't yes. go anywhere. DD TV KPM. TV KPM.
You are back to watching Road to Success SPM 2021 together with me, Sean Steven, as well as Madam Eileen. Now, just before we came back to the show, you actually saw an e-card. This is in conjunction with the Teachers Day campaign, hashtag Terima Kasih Cikgu. So, we'd like to take this opportunity to thank all the teachers out there on all your sacrifices and also your hard work in educating the young minds, including me. Thank you so much, teacher. All right, moving on. Uh, Madam Eileen, let's carry on with our subject for today. Yeah, okay. Thank you, Sean. Thank you. Okay. So we are going to continue, okay? So to continue with what we have left uh, before we go for the commercial break, okay? Yes. Okay, just now, first of all, you are asked to scheme for the, uh, for the main ideas, yes. okay? What the people have in common in the text itself. After that, you are asked to read through the text in order to complete this table, okay? okay? Now, okay, now, okay? In your text, okay, in your text, okay, everybody, look at the text. There are eight highlighted, uh, highlighted words, right? Mm. Eight highlighted words, okay. So there are eight of them, okay. Uh, I want you to guess the meaning of the highlighted words. Oh, oh guess the meaning, okay? It's on uh, another skill, okay? Another skill, uh, reading skill, where the students uh, have to. Uh, master okay? okay in order to get uh, because uh, sometimes in our question we have what is the meaning of this word or in which uh, what is the the word that has the same meaning so here we ask the student to guess the meaning of the word so okay. you have the head at highlighted words in your text right yeah do you have thumbs up okay you have that at highlighted words okay so these are Okay, these are the meaning, okay, the meaning of the eight highlighted words from the text itself. So, okay, can you match the eight highlighted words with the meaning in this table? Okay, this is also in page 23 of your full blast textbook, okay, page 23. So, these are the eight meanings okay so you have the ad words the ad words are with them okay okay all they need to do is uh, just like, oh, you're lo looking for the oh, words right okay. Okay, okay the ad words are with them so these are the meanings okay so do we need to give them time sean i think we can give the give them i don't know 15 seconds uh, 15 seconds wow quite ah. a strict person ah. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Very yeah, you constraint. are the invigilator for oh, today okay ah, okay mm. <laughs> so we are going to ask for sean right okay okay yeah. so 15 seconds everybody Okay, you have the add highlighted words. We, I have the add meanings here. So you are going to match the words with the meaning uh, in the table. So I think uh, I can read through the meanings. Okay, you read through the meanings. Wow, wow. We give them some time. Uh. Okay. So number one is a difficult task. Number okay, what do you think the, the answer is? A difficult task. Yes, I would a say difficult maybe, task. Maybe challenge. I don't know. I haven't read the text okay, yet. Yeah, I haven't okay. read the text yet. So maybe okay, it's something to do with challenge. Okay. Number two, uh, not, not injured. injured. So maybe safe. I safe guess. or safe? safe. Okay. okay, your, your uh, prediction. Never mind. Okay. Able or likely to uh, cause death? Oh, um, um, her dangerous, maybe dangerous? or life-threatening, oh. something like that. Okay. Okay. How about help? Help. Um, assist. Maybe. Assist? <laughs> maybe. I don't okay. Know. They have the. They have the words. <laughs> they have the okay. words. Okay. Okay. Great interest people show in somebody or something. Great interest. Mm -mm. Great interest. Uh, maybe. Um, uh, um, what did you I'll skip this question. Oh, skip this one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, how about strange or unusual? Unusual. I would say weird. Weird. Peculiar. Okay. Yeah. Surface of the the earth. Okay. Ground, the surface. Maybe. Ground. <laughs> yeah. Ground. Surface. Okay. Fearless. Fearless. Um, um, Are you a brave. fearless? Brave. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe brave. Brave. Is it? Maybe. Okay, maybe. Maybe. We'll see. Uh, okay. okay. So, are you ready, kids? Are you ready? Okay. How about number one? A difficult task. Okay. Why don't you choose a person? Oh, uh, okay. We give the opportunity for... Yes. Uh, the power in my hands. Okay. Okay, I'll, look, I'll choose the person who's not looking at the camera right now. Okay, everyone's <laughs> looking. Okay, we'll try Izatul first. Izatul, would you like to try? Okay, Izatul. <laughs> okay, number one. A difficult task. What's your answer? What is it? 
Challenge. Challenge, yes. Is that correct? Yay. Challenge, yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you, Izatul. <laughs> and you are correct too, Sean. Lucky guess. It's lucky, lucky guess. guess. Okay, lucky thank guess. you, Izatul. How about the second one? Not injured. Not injured. Okay, come on, Sean. Another uh, person. Okay, um, I think uh, Yin Swan, uh, Yin Swan is actually yes. uh, giving a very big smile. So uh, I think yeah, she knows the she answer. Knows the answer. Okay. okay, come on, Yin Swan. Okay, not injured. Unharmed. Unharmed. Okay, yes, okay, yes. Okay, yes, correct. unharmed. Thank you, Yin Zuan. <laughs> okay, then the third one. Able or likely to cause death. Okay. Nur Faiza. Okay, Nur Faiza. Yes, Faiza. Deadly. What is it? Able or likely to cause death. Deadly. Deadly. Remember the spider just now? Yes. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Faiza. Thank you, Faiza. Okay. Uh, helped. Okay, the word help, number four. Uh, Madam, would you like to choose? Or uh, should let I? me see. Who is it? Uh, Diana. Okay, Diana, help. The answer is support. 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 It's from yes. the text. Okay. Right, right. Just now, Sean said assist. Uh, yes. Yeah, I think the, it depends on the context. Yeah, so depend on the context, depend on the words that. Is in the text itself. Yeah, yes, correct. assist is correct also for okay. help. Okay, great number five. Great interest people show in somebody or something. Ooh. Uh, who, who, okay, I how think about? Uh, we have two more people who haven't yeah, answered. Uh, Adrian. Adrian, yes. Uh, Adrian. I beg my pardon. Which questions? Uh, number five. Great interest people show in somebody or something. Yes, what is it, Adrian? Number five, number five. Great interest people show in somebody or something. Uh, what is the word? Attention. Attention. Is that correct? Attention. Oh, okay. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Attention, okay, attention. Okay, attention. Yeah. Uh, number six, strange or unusual. Uh, who is it? Eh? We I haven't think uh, one more is Aida. Aida, yes, Aida. Okay, yes, Aida. Um, Aida? Strange or unusual? Weird. 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 Wow. Yay. Sean, you are correct. Thank you, Aida. Okay, yes, you are correct. <laughs> <laughs> At the surface of the earth. Okay, this is open to anyone who uh, likes to try. Open to anyone. Who wants to answer this? Surface of the earth. Oh, yes. Come on, Aida. Oh, Aida. Aida first. Uh, wait, uh, is that told Aida first? Wrong. Ground. Ground. You are correct, Sean. Ooh, okay. Okay. And the last one is fearless. Thank you, Aida. Okay, the last one. I think we can go to Izatul. Izatul, Fe yes. Izatul. Uh, fearless. Brave. Brave. Yay. Yay. Absolutely Thank right. you. Okay. So how many did you get correct? This time? <laughs> I think you only have half. This one? <laughs> yeah. Maybe about half. Yeah, because yeah. you didn't have the words with you. Yeah. Uh, so these are the highlighted words. Okay, so these are the, the answer. Okay. Ooh. Difficult task, challenge, not injured, unharmed, able or likely to cause death, deadly, mm -hmm. help, support, Great interest, people show in something or somebody. Attention, strange, unusual, weird. F surface of the earth, ground, fearless, breath. Okay, yeah. so these are the words from the text itself. Okay, yeah. like what Sean had said just now. I uh, mean, they have other meanings, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, right. but these are the words from the text. Uh, because we are looking at the meaning based on the context itself. Correct. Okay, yes. one of the skills that the kids have to master in order to get the correct answer. Yes. Ah, yeah. Okay. And so far, they're doing really, really well. Good yeah. job. <laughs> good job, everyone. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, good job, everyone. Can we go to the next question? Okay. Can we go to the next question? Thumbs up. Okay, good. Okay, now, the next question. Ah, the discussion part. Okay. So, the first question is, would you do any of these activities for charity? Why or why not? Okay, we are going to look at the first part first. Okay, okay this one. Okay, we, we leave this one first. Okay, the first part. Would you do any of these activities for charity? Why or why not? Okay, so this is your question. Okay, 
Uh, if in class I can ask you to discuss <laughs> in pairs, okay. But since we are in the Google Meet, okay, why don't you think about it yourself, okay? Would you do any of this activity for charity? Why or why not? Okay, this any of these activity, the four activities that is mentioned in the text itself just now, okay? The four activities: one living in the uh, in the in the box, glass container, uh, glass, glass box, box. Yeah. and then one is sky. Uh, the second one skydiving. Mm -hmm. The third one is uh, living with, for forty eight hours with the spider. Uh, yeah, four hundred spiders. Uh, four, yeah. <laughs> and the last one is being silent for one day. Okay, so would you do any of this activity for charity, and why or why not? Okay. How long do we have to give them? Uh, I think we can give them about 30 seconds. I okay, think 30 seconds. Oh, Unless if any of them want to try uh, now. Anybody want to try? Okay. Yeah, wow, Izato. Oh, Star student for today. Star to student for today. Yeah, Sean. <laughs> okay, Izato. Yes, Izato. Um, yes, I will do it. Because okay. the more we give, the happier we will feel. And volunteering also can increase self-confidence. Wow. That's actually a very good point. Yeah, very good point. The more we give, the more happier we are. Yeah, correct. Okay, correct. yeah. Thank you, Izato. How about the others? How about the others? Okay. You can raise up your hand for those who want to answer. How about the others? Would you do what would you uh, would you do the activities? Okay? The four activities mentioned just now? Okay. Yes, anybody putting up your hand? Yes, anybody? How about Nor Faiza? Would you like to try? Yeah, Faiza, you would you like to try? Ah. Okay. Okay. Ah. Um, I think I will do the one that had had been done by Alison by Shaw from Middleton School in Peterborough, UK. That is spending a whole day without saying a word to do wow. a sponsor silent for National Gift Children Association. Okay. Uh, why would you do that? What's your reason? Because. Um, because among, among all these activities, I think the one that had been done by her is the one that less risky, which is oh. mean I don't have to get my life threatening. Okay, yes. so you, the less risky, okay. So you don't want to skydive, you don't want to <laughs> sleep with the, <laughs> living with the spider, so it's the less risky. But do you think, yes, Faiza, can I ask you one more question? Do you think you can stand 24 hours without a... Without talking, 24 hours without talking. Yes. yes. Wow. Because I'm usually introvert. <laughs> ah, you are an introvert. I. <laughs> wow. Very That's good of you. Good. Okay. Yes, very good, Faiza. Okay. Uh, how about uh, we want what, another one answer? Okay, another one. Just now, I think I saw. Is it Ida? You put up your hand just now. Or is it? Uh, yeah, Ida. Is it Ida? Okay. Yes, Ida. Okay. How about you? Would you do any one of these activity, Aida? Um, no, I no. think I would not do the first three activities because these activities are too dangerous for me. Okay. Uh, as a student and teenager, uh, I think it's not necessary to risk our life and enduring ourselves. Wow. I think there are more ways to do charity according to our ability now. Yeah, very good, wow. Aida. Wow. Yes. That's a very, very good yeah, answer. Yeah, very good answer. Meaning that you don't have to go through all those dangerous things. You yeah. have other ways to raise charity. Okay, let's go to the second question. How important do you think it is to encourage young people to raise money for charities? So, do you think it is important to encourage young people to raise money for charity? Okay? And what values can they be taught this? Okay? What value can they be taught? Okay, so... Uh, how about another 15 seconds? Not another only 15, 15 because okay. they are very fast. Very fast, Do huh? you think so? I uh, think so. They, yeah, I mean, they even though fast. we give them 30 seconds or even mm. a minute, I think they already have the answers in their head, already uh -huh. planned out. Uh -huh. So I'm actually quite, I'm actually looking forward to what they have to say. Yeah, because they have very good answer, right? Yes. I, I could not imagine them giving that answer. Exactly. It's, all, yeah. it's all out of the box kind yeah. of thinking. Which is okay, so here, good. how important do you think it is to encourage young people to raise money for charity? Uh, so do you think... 
It is important. How important is it? Okay, so anybody? Uh, we have... Uh. Uh, no, yeah, Diana. Yeah, who is it? I think Diana. Is it? Yes. You raise up your hand, right, Diana? Yes, Diana. Come, Diana. Yes. Okay, uh, I think it is very important to encourage young people because nowadays, not everybody lives a comfortable life. Yeah. Young people nowadays have a lot of gadgets. They get um, pocket money from their parents, but not others who doesn't have parents. So mm. the value that they get from doing charity is the importance of generosity. Yeah, the importance of being generous. Yeah. Okay, we help those who are really in need of help. Yeah. yeah. Okay, because now we know, especially during our pandemic time, I think a lot of people they they don't have any job. True. Okay. That's true, that's so true. this is, uh, there are ways. Uh, so it is a good. It is important for kid uh, for younger generation to know that they need to raise money. Yes, and sometimes to, all we do is take, take, take. Yeah, but when but there comes the times where we are comfortable enough, we uh, should also give back. Yeah, give and, back. And help those who are in need. Like what Izato said just now, the more we give, the happier we are, right? Yes, that's okay. right. Can we get another answer? How important do you think it is to encourage young people to raise money for charity? And what values can they be taught? Okay, yes, what is it? Faiza, is it your putting up your hand? I is think, it, uh, wait, is it? Is it? okay, now, yeah, after Faiza. this we can go to Adrian. Uh, after this we go to Adrian. Okay, yes, Faiza. Okay, I think uh, the important, uh, if this is important to encourage young people to raise money for charities, is because this is because by giving a lesson for the future of young people to be grateful for what they have. Yeah, wow, because, be grateful, yes, uh, very good. Mm. Yeah, very because good. Because when, when they help people, they have to raise money by themselves. So they have, to, they have to work and they learn how hard it is to get the money. So mm. they won't waste the money in the future. Okay, thank you, Faiza. Very good answer. It is very important to teach young, young, uh, young generation to raise money for charity. Okay, so uh, I think we are going to wrap up the lesson yes. for today. Yep, yep. Okay, so what we have learned today is that we have learned about charity. Okay, what we do in order to raise money for charity. And like what we said just now, it's not in terms of money. We can do other things. Okay, for example, from Ida just now, is it uh, saying that uh, we don't have to do risky or dangerous thing in order to raise money. We yeah. have to do whatever that we are capable of doing, yes. not that risking our life to do something in order to raise money. We can do anything we want, but make sure it's within our capability, yeah. our ability. So That's that true. is what we are learning today uh, according to the topic, which is charity okay so i think all uh, right thank you so much uh, madam eileen <laughs> for sharing and also for your lesson for today and so also, also special thanks to our pupils who are online right now adrian aida izatol uh, yinzuan Noor Faiza and Noor Diana for also yes. being part of this amazing, amazing lesson. For those of you watching at home, thank you so much for tuning in. And don't forget to tune in to Road to Success SPM 2021 where you can learn a lot more for different subjects for your papers for SPM this year. And also be sure to always follow the SOPs in place so that we can flatten the curve in our battle against COVID-19. I'll see you in our next episode. Bye! Bye! Didik TV KPM Hi, I'm Prisa Sharif. My daughter is Alice Noor Elisa Aisha. I would like to wish her uh, best of luck for SPM. Uh, don't give up. Stay strong. Stay positive. Keep focused. Stay healthy. Uh, I know this year is very tough, but not as tough as you. I believe in you. So do your best. So kakak, Good luck. I love you. I, the father to Izatul Mawada, hope that Kaka will excel in her SPM this year. May Kaka be given the light to ease her through these challenging years. We know you can do it. We will always be by your side. All the best to you, Kaka, and we love you so much.